Hello everyone, welcome to BIM Modeler YouTube channel. Myself Raj Kumar, you can call me Raj. And in this session, we're going to discuss uh, profile families, the long waiter profile families, which can be used in multiple purposes. You can use it in structural and architectural and MEP purposes. The profile family is very helpful at the time of creating family for an easy constraining. So let us discuss what is profile family in Revit and what are the family types available under profile. How do we create it from the scratch? <clears throat> so if you have any questions on the same, so you can leave the command and I can address try to address the same for the other sessions if it is possible. I will try to answer in the same sessions if it is possible. And do share with the other friends so that they 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 will be able to know uh, what is the profile family to their colleagues and it will be very helpful for them to learn also and it will be a big support for me and thank you for the support from this let's start so if you see that uh, the profile families can be used in multiple places in Revit can be a architecture people or it can be a MEP person who started creating families let us start with that what is it profile family a profile family contains a two-dimensional shape usually a closed loop so that you can load it into a project and apply to a certain building elements the building elements we will discuss in further chapters further slides what is it uh, two profile families saying or uh, two dimensional elements it will be a two dimensional and there are two things available in profile families. One is division profile, the other one it is a normal generic model profile. It can be more helpful for our model. So generally we use maximum cases as generic model and the categories that we define as a profile. The first one, a division profile, which is used for dividing the wall parts or floor or ceiling parts or uh, roof parts you can use it for the uh, dividing the parts you can use the device division profile so the other things a million a million railings and sweep profiles everything created as a generic profile model so what is the advantage over all time drawing it so what are the diff uh, advantages what we have so if you check that if you wanted to have uh, profile families and uh, if you are drawing it uh, instead of using a profile family if you are drawing it you will have a chance uh, that uh, you end up constraining it over again and again so it, it requires a higher rate of uh, aligning time and and other uh, constraining purpose you need you will get more you need to have more timings so we, we don't have to do it for example we do ma multiple parametric constraining uh, advanced families so in those we have to equal constraint always we have to assign the parameter all, all the time all the time if you see see the left side we have a channel that is a rectangle channel with the smooth curve edges so we have to assign this parameter all the time while you create a custom family in different purposes into the different uh, maybe a different furniture or any any component any else any other component so this helps us this particular option helps us make it reusable and we can constrain it in one place and we can control using the parameter into the different families that we require And what are the families that we use in Revit? Pro profile family will be used in following family creations. It may be any family creations. So we will use it in sweat blend and uh, sweep. These two uh, solid modeling tool will use these profiles. And if you talk about the family wise, it uses in the curtain wall mullion and division profile wall metal deck floor and railing rail shapes and and uh, handrails roof fascias and gutter and slab slab edges 
staircase nosing thread rises wall wall sweep and wall reveal in duct fittings and pipe fittings for a modeling sweep you can use these two options we are going to discuss the first at the beginning we are going to discuss a generic profile family how, how to create it how to select the template how to create the parametric uh, options how to select their category and profile category we will create a simple profile family for generic as a generic later uh, we will discuss one by one the families will be discussed one by one and it will be updated into the project and see how it reacts to in the projects so that everybody learns what is profile and how it will be used and what are the settings related to the pro uh, profile families in projects so from that let's start with profile families i have a hands-on file with me uh, starting from hand railings so and i also have uh, setups for uh, profile families already i have so let us start with a fresh one and say it will be the uh, project families for generic model so you are starting fresh and you don't have any profile families with you you can start with by new and family and as as we discussed there are two pro families profile families available one is division profile and the second one if you go down and you will be able to see profile families generic and in this place these two are the families which is available in template i'm using a metric template if you need you can take the uh, imperial templates as your requirement i'm starting with profile families let us select this template are specific to the subcategory of the profile you can select any of these templates or you can modify their sub disciplines over in this place select it profile say open this is the initial setups that we have only two reference plane which defines the center of the family and as usual you have to define their category make sure it is under the profile family so it automatically takes as a profile only one category is available the second thing is that the important thing is that you have to remember in that profile usage so what is the usage if you are assigning it as a generic you can use it in mullion or you can use it in uh, railing hand railing you can use it in uh, uh, staircase nosing all the types it's possible so i'm trying to create this as generic model as as it is possible i will try to create it as generic and later if you need you can change it as a fascia gutter or mullion or slab edge metal deck or desk or wall as your requirement if it is required to be let us start with this so let it be as generic if you see that i have not selected anything it will show by default the profile usage as generic you can use it in all the profiles let's save this family and name it as generic family then one okay as if you are familiar with family creation and constraining you will you will be understanding what is it i'm doing so this is going to be a 2d model so you have to draw just a close to profile of the same you don't have to have a open profile you can have single close to profile like this or you can have a multiple close to profile like this also it's possible so for a good practice should have a one profile to define and in project you can use one profile only and later if it is required to be the other profile you can update it in this other side but the advantage having one is quantity takeoff will be used in the quantity takeoffing so let us keep this that as one so you can use simple line and draw it use the dimensions as usual so constrain it so and also the second thing is that important you can keep the family you can draw it in any quadrant of this 
center positions as per your requirement you can draw it and you can place it if you need it in the center you can draw it in center or any of the quadrant you can draw or any of the place you can draw and constrain it with the dimensions the offset value from the x and y reference plane let me for the testing purpose we are doing this and let me create it around the center positions of the reference plane and create a dimensions equilateral dimensions for these three continuously it is a continuous dimension make it equal to the other side make it equal simply it will show the temporary dimensions and you can click it. just draw like this and you have an option to select the parameter it is length we can keep it as type and the other option height this is very simple family creations and the advantage of having this option it is you can have a detailed family also inside or you can have a detailed component loaded into this project in this place to show it in uh, to the plan view or section view of your model while cutting the section it is possible to show it so the same example will be discussed on Moolean families so how do we do it so let us save this family one more time and load this into a project and if you are able to select this railing so you can take any railing and you can draw it in project and go and try to edit their railing types and you you have an option because it's a since it's a generic model you have the option to change it in hand railing on top railing or anything so you can just select it and go to their profile option and you will have the option to select your your railing generic family you can see it here you can assign it and you will be able to constrain it as as you need it and you can do it and if you see that it's bigger than the expected and you can go to the 3d and see it how it's came we have to control their shape and sizes so since we, it is a parametric model we can control it so we know the family name so you can search it in this place say generic family go to their type rename it edit type you can change their value to 50 50 rename it 50 50 so it is easy as easy it is you can control it the generic model family can be assigned the profile family can be assigned to any of the uh, model any of the available generic model and you can change it so for example if you are creating a sweep wall sweep and you can edit their type and you have an option of selecting the profile and you will have the generic family 50 50 in this positions and you can create it so generic can be used in all the categories so not in division not in division profile the remaining other things you can use it so this is how you create a family in any shape constrain it properly and you can reuse it wherever you need it and you can do it later so after this it is the method is very simple only thing that you have to remember is selecting these options while creating from scratch so if you have any other questions on the same you can leave the command below now what i am trying to show you is one by one family edit it and with a different shape and load it into family and we can discuss their settings related to their type so let us say I have a family named custom handrail I can 
open this family inside Trivet. And whenever you working with a profile family or any other Revit families, the best example is the already existing family. And try to understand those family and you will be able to create on your own. So whenever you open a profile family or any other families, it will show if it is showing only the simple elements, you need to know, know the exact center, reference planes and dimensions. So it is in the visibility graphics of the element. So you can control it under view visibility graphics or VG or VV. You have annotation category show so the dimensions and reference line reference plane. So when you do this, you will be able to see their dimensions and their parameters, constraints, options like this. You have an option to change your profile as per your requirement then this will be the name of custom one uh, handrail family i like to have the handrail something like this what i'm trying to create from the line i'm just going to edit it say for example like this and also wanted to have some small circles on, over in this place or maybe a small another arc over in this place like this and I can use the split command and trim and extend to create it as single close to profile I will delete this line so you have to constrain it properly to adjust with the dimensions to make changes to the dimensions and by default it understands the reference plane and position of the lines automatically it changes but for the proper constraining you have to give dimensions and parameter to it to lock it properly so for now it is fine save this family and load this into our project once it is loaded we need to have for the handrail this shape particular shape we need it so select the railing go to their edit type you will have top rail and handrail you can come down and you have the option to select it and do remember the setting must be you see this the setting must be profile usage as railing and coming back edit type so if it is in profile railing so you can use it in the railing profile it will not show in any other uh, models such as Asia it won't show so top rail or handrail so handrail type you can click this button to open this dialog box profile and change the one it will be in the beginning one one inch and apply it okay okay so now you if you go nearby it so you can understand how it's created from our custom made family settings from the profile it is neat and simple it automatically understands it and it will take the path of the same profile and it will create it similar to that you can create it for top rail or railing which is available for the rail structures you can do it and you just need to select the top rail directly or you can select the railing and edit type go to their top rail structures and click this button to open this dialog box change their family to one handrail or you can rename it as in different family type and say ok the custom settings can be done and you can assign the parameters and other things as per your requirement so it can be wood so wood will be looks good edit type let it be as cherry for the handrail okay the second settings it would be let's close this and for the second one 
we have profile family in uh, millions actually so it's supposed to be a million so this is the place we have to learn the other important things of uh, detail component detail family you can load inside the profile family so let's open the other family say it is mulian family is third open it what i have done is already created the detail family and their related settings the only thing that we have to create visibility graphics view visibility graphics turn on the settings okay and you will be able to see the constraints properly and we can discuss if it is required that how do we constrain it properly so this is the additional family from detail item so this is a separate family which is loaded inside to show the graphics of the million but if you see the actual profile will looks like these highlighted lines so this is the profile so we don't know, we can even create this shape but it creates more sizes to the our model so we don't need this much detail so we can show it as in plan view as detail component not the whole extrude, extrude ele, extruded element so it will be placed on the position and it will be locked to the nearby elements so it will be the simple rectangle shaped elements with the constraint over to the other sides and important setting it is you have to select this as mullion and later you can load that into project and you have a option to edit this mullion and if it is uh, dimmed or dehalated you can unpin this edit their type and you have to change their profile to the this option the custom mullion that we created say okay once if you have updated so the system will automatically update to the because since all mullions are from the same category it will update to the same one from the settings available in the type of the wall which is assigned already if you see it very closely so the wall panel sits in this positions and if you see that the detail of the element it shows very clearly but in 3d if you see it will be the simple profile which is defined in our profile family so we can create as similar as possible we can create it this way and it will be easy for us and less model consuming guys the next thing profile family in wall sweep and reveal these elements wall sweep let us turn on this dimension and reference plane and since it is a wall profile so it will be created on the right top core trend so that it will come in the edges our cursor will be on this position so we can change the shape as per our requirement say for example i need to have shape something like this i don't need to be have parametric but i need the shape something to show neat and clean
like this and I like to trim it in this position delete this element I don't need this element so the parameters are gone so I don't want it to be a parametric but I need the shape to be defined in our sweep so let's save this family and load into project this name of the project will be four wall sweep load into project so the wall sweep can be created from architectural tab wall sweep and you have to go to the 3d so that it will be enabled on 3d or in elevation views so tab it control x the same wall sweep families are applied in this edit type you can see reveals and walls sweeps are applied applied over the edge and top edges of the wall and you can go nearby to that element and you will be able to see it very clear so for us so we have to create a wall sweep now it will show the wall sweep options and you can go to the type and create custom and change there and profile and materials to the model it will be the four wall sweep standard okay and if you go nearby the model you can see that been applied automatically with the wall you can go and move over to the edges of the other edges of the wall and it will be created simply press escape and it will come and you can go back to the same settings and change their material as wall or interior finish wall to the uh, to the element or interior tiling to the element this can be created and used with the multiple purposes <coughs> yes uh, Ravi Kumar uh, it is available for future yes <clears throat> and going with other options such as division profile as we discussed earlier the division profile will be used for the uh, creating a parts while creating a parts you will be able to have dividing your uh, wall segments so for that purpose you can use the division profile something like this you can create a parts and differentiate it each part and their quantities you can do it it is advanced topics that will be discussed separately so, but it can be used in this positions so where is it parts option this is a place we have parts option and you can take the parts option and divide parts and edit and you can draw your line something like this maybe like this and finish it while finishing you have an option to select the division profile angled step and angled arch so you can select it select the profile that you needed and I will select the angled one okay it since is it's supposed to be a straight line so that it cuts properly finish it finish profile yes so you have to assign it properly in the proper positions align the assign the division profile so as i mentioned earlier so this will be the uh, profile which is different from the other profile normal generic model profile which is have a different settings different uh, template is available to that and the same the only difference is the template you have to select the different template and second thing is this will be the straight line not the closed loop 
you see that this will be the straight line and if you see that the profile orientation and category of the profile is division profile these are the difference between this division profile and the normal generic profile and second uh, and the next thing is that floor metal disc so the metal disc if you see it in uh, plan view or in 3d view if you see you can't see the element or uh, metal disc properly so many of the people uh, have wondered uh, my metal disc is not showing so but it uh, it will appear in your preview of flows but not in your 3d so these uh, profiles are normal normally a single line profile and it will be appear as a detail in section view so you have to go to your section view and you have to see the detail and also make sure that you are in the fine mode to see it not in coarse mode so that it appears so this is a simple profile family can be created from the generic profile template and assigned it and how it is done we can open the custom deck profile family and open it <clears throat> and you can change as your required method the shape can be defined as you go so if you see this it is very much constrained but I wanted to change only small changes to this uh, object something are off circle to this positions and you can constrain it later as you requires as you go say enter there will be a small portion of the arc it must be the single line profile family not the closed profile family and let's load this into project Go to the section view of the floor, edit the profile, and make sure that editing the type and edit the structure. And if you select it, you make sure that if you are creating another layer, make sure that you are in the structural deck layer type. And in the bottom, you have the option to change your profile and say OK, OK. Now if you see that this profile particular profile family will have particular offset in the middle like this so it is as simple it is you can create your customized requirement to your families in profile already existing family and see how it reacts how it is being done later you can edit it and create it from the generic model as per your requirement it is very much easy as compared with the starting with the fresh and the next family that we want to discuss is profile family slab edge the slab edge nothing but you will have a profile which is defined underneath so it is a simple profile which is created and if you go and uh, if you wanted to create the slab edges it is available flow slab edge option you can use this option to create the slab edges to the sides edges you have to pick it and to change it and similar way and you have the option to change your parameters and you can do uh, whatever the settings that you needed to do so let me change this edges for example uh, the edges may have another uh, corner or you can control it in this place the edge will have will not have the sharp edge you can control it or in this place smooth smooth edge so whatever you need to control you can do it so let me fill it this corner and I will save this family and load into project and if I go back to the 3D, see the bottom side, 
and the old family which is assigned and make sure that our family which is in slab edge coming back selecting the edge selected you have the profile to be changed and we don't want our generic model in the slab edge the seventh and select this model say okay now if you see that automatically the smooth and smooth filleted edges will be applied to all over the sides so as simple it is the only category we have to define it in a generic mode okay so the other things are uh, to be controlled is like next things are family profile families and phasias and gutters so these are the uh, models which we have to uh, use it in multiple times or in a multiple projects in architectural these are it, it will be the long time processing so if you are drawing it in a in a component and on your own in place family if you are doing it it will take long but if you are using this option particular uh, sweep and uh, this gutter options profile method it will be faster lot faster and you can create it in a click of a minute so it's it's a continuous gutter that we have and as similarities we have a continuous uh, uh, profit and features we have so these families can use uh, profile families so as we discussed earlier you can go to the family edit the profile features profile for example in this case change their shapes that you needed after enabling their settings reference plane and dimensions to understand what it is now then okay, i'm checking whether is the center yes this one is after that i like to create it a uh, shape something like this and aside side Okay, so let me trim and extend the same and join the constraint and let me check this as connected here so when if you are not sure that it is not connected properly you have to make sure it is connected properly the edges making sure trim and extend and select all the elements and you will see the dot blue dot dot it means it is not connected properly again use the trim and extend selected you will get to know all the elements are selected properly and it is connected so it should be a closed loop and making sure it is fixed putting in project after saving it for oh, yes loading into project to the profile hands-on file cd select the fascia and edit it the profile will be by 12 will be good thing and if you see that now it's created the proper sweep profile along the path and similarly you you have the option to change your gutter their profile can close these other families open the better family here I like to have as round shape arc 
constraint so let us make this as fillet these two lines these two lines to this side yes so now it is done so you can delete the remaining two lines and you can adjust your profile and if you need you can constrain it properly but this will work as per dimensions and this is the type of five five by five load into save and put into project see it in 3d edit their profile have the option to change as five by five okay now you will have the option of smooth end prof profile to your gutters so it is very simple the only thing is that you have to remember it is gutter type category in the next thing is staircase we have to discuss staircase nose so we'll discuss only the nose and the thread and riser will be the same so the nose families we have in here as stair nose profile as of now if you see that in stair nose it it just have a sharp edge so i wanted to have a smooth edge to the nose we can go back and change their edge smooth edge like this and it's supposed to be a closed family so delete this portion and save this load into project in 3d selected so for easy understanding i have just rounded off the other remaining elements such as stringers and supports i have turned it off all the elements you can go inside the family and in run type nose and thread and riser settings are available you have to click this button in thread and nosing nosing profile this is the place we have to assign nosing profile it will be 10th nosing profile apply it now if you see that the profiles got updated not only friend i need it on the left and right side i okay if you see that nosing edges it on both the both the sides with the new updated smooth edges it is as simple it is now you can create customized families for the same nosing families and use it in your project and you can keep your library updated the other things are uh, uh, we are uh, discussing continuous parametric modeling of duct fitting and uh, elbow fittings uh, duct elbow fittings and duct other fittings and pipe fittings we are discussing continuous advanced family parametric modeling so this this is the position uh, place that uh, how we can use the profile family and we don't want to constrain equal constraint or length and width to each parameters we don't have to create it again and again so just um, create the profile family as per your requirement and assign it in this place so how do we do it so the duct fitting is a sweep so the do sweep uses profile family and if you go and edit it you can see their profile family in this place we wanted to create our own family and assign it in this place the profile family will be a generic profile family actually it is not a, we don't have any category subcategory named duct fittings it is a generic no duct categories it is just generic you can create and place it the changes that i wanted to make is that uh, i need a thickness uh, i don't want a solid i wanted to have a thickness you can offset it as one millimeter as small as possible just tap to select it you can see a small thickness over to this and we have a two close to file it should not cross one another make sure it is clean save this family 
load into project is rectangle elbow radius family okay now you have the option to select this family and you have option to selecting 12 duct generic profile for all you can select it it will be assigned so don't forget to assign after selecting the profile you have to assign their profile dimensions so go to their edit type type property and assign the width and height so duct width to make sure it is width that height so you have to assign this two parameters this is the important settings that you have to do and while you are creating a parameters for uh, uh, aligning constraining the uh, profile to the families you have to align this profile with the uh, center position of the your pro path so you can see this axis you can align it with this element so you can see align command this line and you will be able to have this additional lines from the center axis of the profile so you have to lock it so it, so that the constraint will be fulfilled finish this and make it solid to see it so now it's clean and open a open type not a solid element it will increase the file size but still so we are just experiment, uh, experimenting with the profile how we can use it and how we can modify it so this is how you assign it and you can you will be able to change it for the duct fitting so in a sweep so the same sweep uh, uh, model if you are using any sweep model you can use the profile family like this and change their type and create a new type and as in create one more sweep model in your family it is possible so as we discussed this duct fittings a similar way you can do it for pipe fittings also but I don't want to take care from here so I hope you will take it take it uh, to the next level so I hope this will be the uh, this will will be more helpful to you so if you have any questions on the same so you can leave a comment below so that I can understand it so we are fulfilling with another uh, tutorial of basic Revit uh, family creation or a parametric family creations like extrude solid modeling river modeling in the next sessions you can follow up with those commands and with it so if you have uh, uh, friends who needs learning of the same so you can share with them thank you so much see you on the next session